Still to come tonight. The most famous voice in Ireland pops in for a cosy chat about his new festive album and Christmas Day in the Daniel O'Donnell household. Now to a man who's been in show business for over 35 years and in that time he's sold over 12 million records. Daniel O'Donnell still knows how to entertain his loyal fan base and he's currently on tour heading to Southport next week and Blackpool next spring. Our entertainment correspondent Caroline Whitmore caught up with him as he prepares for Christmas. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Daniel O'Donnell. It's always a pleasure to meet you. It's been nine years since I we know. last caught up. Can you believe that, Carolyn? It's, it's just passed so quickly. And you will not know what we have done to get this change in here. And I appreciate here. it immensely. <laughs> and all these presents that I have to open later. They're all for you. I know. <laughs> just too much. It's all for this, Christmas with Daniel O'Donnell. It's all Christmas classics, isn't yes, it? Yes, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the favourites. We recorded the show. It's actually a live show. It's a CD and a DVD and we recorded it in Dublin last Christmas. Snowflakes start falling. What is Christmas like with Daniel O'Donnell? Well, I love Christmas. I love the decorations. I love the trees, so I'm very appreciative that you've went to all the trouble to get this tree. <laughs> it's the time for me that I wind down. I've never, ever had to do a show on Christmas Day. Feet up, then. Mm -hmm. Comfies Absolutely. on. Yeah, that's Fire right. Fire on. <laughs> Which is your favourite Christmas song, though? I love Silent Night. Silent Night is my favourite carol. What I noticed when we last met nine years ago in Blackburn, it was a, a Daniel O'Donnell fan club, That's wasn't right, it? and you know that group of people are still meeting, and they have a dinner dance once a year in Blackburn, and I go to it. What a wonderful world. When you're up there singing, do you recognise the fans then? Sometimes, you know, in the theatres, uh, the lights are very bright. And the other problem is now that I can't see as far as I used to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes so if I do, I can't focus. <laughs> <laughs> The news you had a few years ago when um, Magelli, your wife, got diagnosed with cancer. How was that for you, deciding to take a career break? I think it was quite brave, really. When Magella was diagnosed, my initial thought was, I'll take time off now. And she said, no, we, we, we won't stop. I said, when you're better and the treatment's over, I will ta we'll take a break. I mean, she's four years now since her diagnosis, and she's fine. So oh, please, God, God everything will stay as is. And despite that, you are the only artist to have an album in the UK charts consecutively for the last 30 years. I know. It's amazing, really. And again, that's down to the people. Strictly Come Dancing, it was great to see you on that. But I'm an organic dancer. They can grow in any direction. <laughs> Who are you rooting for this year? I'd love to see Debbie McGee won it for the kind of older group of us. If you could have anything for Christmas, what would it be? Well, I, I could have a number <laughs> one. That would probably be oh, the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> just can't wait to open my present. <laughs> I hope you're not too disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> lovely to see you again. Thanks a million. It's lovely to be here. Yeah, he's so popular, isn't he? He's a charming man. Charming Our director, man. Mike Sargent, yes. does a very yes. good version yes, of he Daniel does. O'Donnell as well. It was almost like he'd walked into the newsroom It's something before. not to be missed. He lives in Southport and he's a very good singer, apparently. Who knew?